the story of the punch-up has been followed up in the tabloids. John has accidentally revealed that the East 17 comeback is over, leaving Tony infuriated. I'm really fucked off, as you could imagine, you know. But it said I, I've been ousted and they've gone off as a free sermon. Um, blah, 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 which was all right. It was humiliating because no one's actually phoned me to tell me to my face, but then I think that describes them. So I'm not an happy bunny about that. But I was really angry with the comment, his heart wasn't in it. I think the whole interview was naivety on John's part to realise that he's actually chatting to someone from a newspaper and thinking he's not being, you know, how long's he been in the business? But there you go. Without Tony, the band seemed to be making plans. Tonight, they've arranged a gig in a Colchester nightclub. Just got to have my jeans in there. It's just me, Brian, Terry, doing um, about half hour, 40 minute set. Um, pretty much, I mean, it's a set that we've always done before, like when we've done loads of butlings and stuff. So it's that sort of set, but without Tony. So it's just the three of us now. If it wasn't for Tony punching Brian, and I think if he could have kept his cool and just went along with it, like we all was, then we'd most probably be doing a tour or getting a new album deal, because apparently there's um, an album deal on the table for us and everything. And that's why I just found it so confusing, because Tony seemed like he really wanted to do it. Do you know what I mean? Otherwise, he wouldn't have come back after 10 years. Oh, God. It's just really um, frustrating. I hate not succeeding. You know, I hate it, and I put out with a load of whinging and paid nearly 40 grand putting on the show and a, a huge PR campaign to shift the tickets and stuff, and it still ain't worked. People still aren't happy, and I'm like... Does anyone else contribute towards... What, put their hand in their pocket? You're joking. Brian and the rest of the band still feel there's a future for East 17. This is how I have to wash my hair. And I think there's Brian's vision and my vision, and that's always the two kind of polarities, if you like, that are always working against each other. And... It just feels to me that I don't fit into the band. That's kind of how it feels. I think, I think he's happy on stage in the middle. He's the boss. He does, everyone's doing what he says, and, and he's happy with that. And so I've just got to hold my hands up, wish him all the best, and I think that's the, the, the mature thing to do. There can only be one leader, can't there? At tonight's show, there won't be a band performing. Brian's loaded up his MP3 player with backing tracks of their greatest hits. <laughs> you know, doing little gigs and all that, well, it's good to give you a few hundred quid for the night, well done, but it kind of strips you of credibility and it doesn't really allow for you to have a career if you're going to do uncool things like that. Oh, these gigs are coming, aren't they? Because it's all nice coming up for Christmas and that. You know? I am out about 30 grand. <laughs> so I'm going to be broke for a little while. <laughs> I was lucky. I invested my money in property and then property went up, so... Yeah, no, do I need to work in? No. I don't know. I'll just park it here, mate. There's nowhere else to park. I don't know. Just park right up close Hello. up on the side there. Hello. 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 What do you reckon? Is there no car park? No. Yeah. No? No. All right. You've got a little flat. Wooden tog. Yeah, wasp. Wooden tog. Dead fly. All right. See you in a minute. Yeah.
When was the last time we've done playback? Can you even remember? No. Was that long ago? We had mine for years, mate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, look. Yeah. We're just going to have to work it as best we can. Do you know what I mean? We'll do, we, we do it anyway. You know, we'll get through it. Oh, for fuck's sake. Where's the fucking... Where's the yellow lines? Fucking government, piss me off. Wankers, cancel tax, fucking road tax, they fucking get on my nerves. So is it fair to say then that the, the East 17 reunion is like officially over? Um, oh God, I mean, I don't even want to say yeah, but it, yeah. You know, yeah. Um... I guess it is, isn't it? I guess it is. Uh, yeah, I guess it is. Oh, mate, I'm trying to be happy and, and enthusiastic, but I've just popped. Yeah, it's getting to that stage where it's too long, like though, isn't it, man? Do you know what I mean? But we had to come down to we'll do that same thing. after hanging about for eight hours and that, yeah. you know what I mean? Just there you go, all right, tonight, you know, it's like you get on stage, yeah. you've got no choice, you have to wake up. Yeah. Yeah. First Formula One race, after 113 attempts, foul attempts involving buttons, possibly caused Gideon's son. Here we go, Gail, here we go, I'm done. <laughs> With the band split into two factions and their dream of a reunion to rival Take That lying in tatters, it seems that East 17's history has repeated itself. Let's give a massive Colchester welcome to East 17! One, two! What's happening, Colchester? Big up your fucking self! Inside!